Because, actually. Because you're... Because you're Morgan. Hey, Dad. Morgan. Wow. This worked. Yeah. Yeah, it worked for me. I got to live and grow up. For you, I can't answer. Someone had to do that so the rest of us could. I'm proud of you. And sad. I'm strong, like mom. And I'm happy. I'm happy we had the time that we did. Okay, and that you were there for me until you couldn't be. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you guys just saw, they just unveiled the scene with Morgan Stark and Tony Stark in the Soul World in Avengers Endgame. This was actually one of the first deleted scenes that we ever got to hear about from Avengers Endgame and we're finally getting to see it, with close to done visual effects. After watching the scene, I can clearly see why the Rooster Brothers ultimately decided to cut it, as although it's great and sentimental, it would have definitely messed up the flow of the final act of Endgame. And I think that with the death of Tony Stark, it's a lot more impactful seeing Pepper Potts and Peter Parker's reaction to his death rather than Morgan Stark, and getting to see Tony Stark come to terms with what he's actually done, telling Morgan Stark that of course it worked, and his daughter Morgan telling him that he's grateful that he allowed her to grow up and telling him that she's strong like their mother, Pepper. I also really like how Tony Stark leaves his daughter, telling her that he loves her 3,000. If you guys don't remember, the Russo brothers actually had the original intention of every individual that snapped their fingers using the Infinity Gauntlet to visit the Soul Realm. Of course, Thanos got to see a vision of his younger daughter and Gamora at the end of Avengers Infinity War. And when Bruce Banner snapped his fingers, he was actually going to get to see a version of the Hulk in the Soul World. And then, of course, Tony Stark and Morgan Stark. The scene was ultimately cut again wisely so for pacing, as I believe if you directly inserted this scene after Tony Stark snaps his fingers, it would be far less impactful when we saw Peter Parker's and Pepper Potts reaction to Tony. It's also just a lot more sad not to get to see Tony Stark enter the Soul World, although it's possible that canonically, although we never saw it happen, that it definitely did. We can see in the background in the Soul World that each individual that snaps their fingers is also surrounded by things that are significant to that area. For Thanos and a young Gamora, it was in the location where Thanos first encountered Gamora and decided to take her as one of his children. And for Tony Stark, it's in the woods just outside of his home and cabin, which I thought was an interesting detail detail and selection by the Russo brothers and the filmmakers. Anyway though guys, that's pretty much my breakdown on the entire scene and all I really have to add to it. But what were your thoughts on the scene between Tony Stark and Morgan Stark in the Soul World? And are you glad that we finally got a look at what it was originally supposed to be like? As always my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team and have a great day.